17 right at Charlie, Centurion 39 Quebec. Each airport in the National Airspace System has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. David Wayne Hooks Airport is a medium-sized, primarily general aviation airport. It is located approximately 10 miles northwest of George Bush International Airport in Houston, Texas. The configuration consists of parallel runways 17 right, 35 left, and 17 left, 35 right. In addition to these two hard surface runways, there is a seaplane landing area labeled 1735. A complex taxiway system connects all parts of the airport. Adding to this complexity is the shared-use taxiways that accommodate vehicular traffic as well as aircraft. Several ramp parking areas, rows of based aircraft hangars, business hangars, and hangar homes line the east side of the airport. In addition, numerous flight schools are based at the airport, providing a large student pilot population. Combining all of these factors makes David Wayne Hooks an airport with unique characteristics that requires that all pilots maintain a high degree of situational awareness. As with many other airports configured with parallel runways with staggered thresholds, landing on the wrong runway is a concern at David Wayne Hooks. The fact that runway 17 left 35 right is less than half the size of runway 17 right, 35 left, contributes to the tendency for pilots to fixate on the first runway they see. In addition to the risk of confusing the runways, Taxiway Foxtrot has also presented a risk for a wrong surface landing as well. The proximity of Taxiway Foxtrot to both runways may contribute to this potential error. Adding to this, the width of the taxiway has also contributed to confusion. Being aware of the airport layout and configuration prior to your approach will help mitigate this risk. Hotspot 1, on the north side of the airport, concerns aircraft cleared to taxi from any of the ramp areas to runway 17 right via Charlie. It is unclear why, but there have been several instances of pilots crossing the runway 17 right, 35 left, hold short line on taxiway Charlie. Close attention needs to be given to taxi clearance, clearance limit, and aircraft location on the airport. One factor that may contribute to this issue is the short distance between ramps Alpha and Bravo and runway 17 right, 35 left. Hotspot 2 locally known as the Triangle, is somewhat notorious for causing confusion. This is simply due to the complexity of the pavement found at this location. Using an airport diagram or moving map display, as well as scanning outside the aircraft for surfaces, signs, and markings, will help maintain the required situational awareness in this location. Hotspot 3 is located at the intersection of runway 17 right, 35 left, and taxiway Echo. Pilots cleared for intersection takeoffs from taxiway Echo have proceeded onto the runway and departed in the opposite direction of the direction in which they were cleared. Comparing aircraft heading to the runway assigned should help pilots recognize and avoid wrong runway departures. Hotspots 4 and 5 concern the same issue. The dimensions of taxiway Foxtrot and runway 17 left 35 right are similar. The distance between parallel taxiway Foxtrot and both the hard surfaced runways is minimal. Aircraft rolling out on runway 17 right and instructed to turn left at taxiway Golf or Hotel, followed by turn left on Foxtrot, 
have missed the quick turn onto Foxtrot and continued onto runway 17 left, 35 right. A contributing factor in this mistake may be the similar width and appearance of the runway and taxiway. A good operating practice for pilots landing at new or unfamiliar airports is to thoroughly review expected taxi routes and the overall airport configuration prior to their arrival. Hotspot 6 highlights the potential for pilots taxiing southbound on taxiway Kilo to miss the hold short bars for runway 17 left, causing a runway incursion. Remember to scan outside your aircraft at all times while taxiing. One last area of concern that is not depicted on the airport diagram concerns approach holds for the seaplane landing area on taxiways Juliet and November. Pilots need to be aware that the approach hold is located in a non-movement area, but still needs to be adhered to when restricted by ground control. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at David Wayne Hooks Airport will help pilots make better decisions, and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to David Wayne Hooks Airport. It's always better to know before you go.